bad at all, thank you very much. Now, now they've had an inch of rain at Ludlow, but it's still only good. There isn't any more rain forecast there. If he doesn't change the going to good to soft, we might just have to slip over and walk it and make sure it's okay. All right, thanks, Will. Bye-bye. It's been an unusually dry autumn and something that's actually started to put pressure on me as a trainer and also us individually as a business. For Kerry, I suppose it's horrible knowing, you know, we've got no rain and owners are wanting the horses to run. We need the horses to run because they're just getting trained every day, but there's just no ground for them. It's starting to have a massive impact because at this stage of the season, we would have been racing four or five days this week. And at the moment, my next runner, I don't know when it's going to be because realistically, unless it rains, I can't run very much. It's what we do. They're racehorses. We want to run them. but they're too important to you know, mess about with at this stage. And I'm very lucky in that all of our owners understand the fact that we're doing the right thing for them and their horses and, and not, just, not just being belligerent. Good boy. We've only got 31 boxes, so we can treat each horse as individuals. A lot of horses come to us they've been in a training regime where they do very little other than just go up the gallops. What we do is try and do something different with the horses. Oh, Alfie, you got me wet, mate. Alfie loves it. We've got so many different rides that Kerry lets us go on and I think if the horses are happy and they're doing different things, it takes their mind of just going up a gallop every day. Life's entertaining, if you like, for them. They look forward to going out to work. They're not necessarily feeling like they're working. That's a massive thing, that is, like, they're not always pushed on the button. Horses can settle well around here because they just switch off and forget about racing until they go to the track. Crispin looks like he's gorgeous yesterday, doesn't he? I always wanted to be like my dad, you know, grow up and train winners and do what he did. But he's always been, you know, hugely inspiring for me. His work ethic is second to none. Even now, he's, he's supposed to be retired, yet yeah, he's out every day grafting as hard as he can. Okay. Job done. Even though Kerry's got the name on the door, Richard is still there helping Kerry, so we have a good team there. How are we doing, Rich? That looked very good. That was a big improvement. Yeah. And he's still a month off a run. Yeah, exactly. Kerry had a great season last year, and all those horses are going to come out this year, and people are going to expect the same. So we've all got to work together and keep them all as fit as possible and healthy as possible. The staff are great in that they'll flag up if they're not sure a horse is happy or think something's a bit off colour. It's all about individual attention and personality. It's a big team effort here as well because it's such a small yard but it's so tight together. It's, everything's done as a team. Six is up there, four here, five over there. It is hard work, it's really hard work but we want to be the best that we possibly can be. And to do that, you have to put in the most. And that means going the extra mile. I mean, happy horses win races, happy trainers train winners, surely? It's <laughs> a great line. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna keep that one. <laughs> it's a hard game to, to kind of make it, and there's so many lads that are good and can ride and don't, don't ever get a chance. Everybody can be a jockey anyway. It's unfortunate for them, but that's the way it goes, you know? Jockey is for the folk. There the days you want to be at the races. The crowds are huge and everybody's pumped up. That's when you get the butterflies. This will bring back memories for you, John. It does take a lot of commitment and dedication, but the sacrifice is worth it.